शाहरुख खान पाम रीडिंग ऑफ शाहरुख खान ही इज द फेमस सुपर स्टार ऑफ बॉलीवुड मूवीज हिंदी मूवीज तो वील बी रीडिंग हिज पर्टिकुलर हैंड बिफोर आई स्टार्ट माई वीडियो आई वुड ट्राई टू टेल यू अबाउट माई सेल्फ आई ट्राई टू गिव रियलिस्टिक काइंड ऑफ रीडिंग्स आई ट्राई टू गिव रीजन्स टू वॉट एवर आई से सेम वे इन दिस पर्टिकुलर फार्मिस्ट्री वीडियो एज वेल आई वुड ट्राई टू गिव रीजनिंग्स एज वेल दीज डेज many farmers are making new new fake signs and uh, every day a new fake sign develops in palmistry people think that if you have a m sign vishnu sign chakra wheel pot swastik kamal sign you are likely to be more successful i would say you don't do, you don't require to have any rare kind of signs in order to be successful even simple lines as you see in the hands of sharukh khan uh i would explain to you and give reasons you would come to know even with simple lines that the person can be extremely extremely successful another thing i need to add out here you would notice that he is wearing a ring and this ring is basically in his little finger this is the little finger and he is wearing a panna emerald now emerald in the finger of mercury mercury is the finger for communication calculations so a person uh, who wears who is suggested to wear a uh, emerald ring it is basically to make the person's calculations much better and communication much better he already has is he already uh, has a very good communication but probably some person might have some palmist might have uh, suggested to him to uh, to wear a emerald ring now you would notice uh, that i'm just going to show the best possible image the thing is this this image is uh, really good uh, so the thing that the first thing that comes to our mind is that there are very less lines over the particular hand so less lines is always better than more lines if there are more horizontal kind of lines imagine if a person has got many horizontal kind of lines kind of originating on the mount of mars or any other particular area it would kind of block a person's energy the energy is flowing through the fingers and, and into the palm and each energy that like kind of uh, enters from the fingers are of different kind the energies of communication and calculations the energy for risk taking creativity art music creativity this is the finger for money management responsibility and this is the finger for administration religion politics and honor so so they basically travel into the palm and they intermingle with each other so if a person does have horizontal lines too many horizontal lines or too many criss crossing lines then the energies of that particular person would get disturbed so having less lines over the particular palm is always better than more lines over a particular palm now in this particular hand there's something very significant uh that is not found in every person's hand now you would find this is the line of life this is the line of life and this is kind of ending very close to the, around the age of 35 this is just an approximate age i'm saying this is when the lifeline kind of stops lifeline ending is not considered to be a good sign but in this particular case we might say that it might be a good sign it is kind of ending out here but you would notice that there appears to be another line that is overlapping the original line so this is considered to be good now we have to we uh, we should be able to give some reason or the, or the other why it is considered to be a good sign the reason being i'm just going to draw a normal kind of a line first which a normal person can have this is a normal kind of a line normal life line now it and it encircles two planets this is the area of mars and this is the area of venus so each planet has got some meaning or the other mars in greek mythology it is a fighter so the mars area basically means the fighting spirit within that particular person the fighting spirit the uh, the fire within that particular person and this is the area for 
the venus venus is the area of desires venus is the area of your of your love life beauty grace your sexuality this is the area for uh, the luxuries so uh, so the more the encircling of the lifeline the better it is considered to be imagine the situation that this line the original line is kind of ending out here if this had continued something like this then less area of mars is getting encircled and less area of venus is getting encircled less area of venus getting encircled means that the person has got less energies and stamina and vitality and and the desires and less fire within that particular person because there's less area encircling the area of mount of mars negative mars negative is just a name now in this particular case what is happening is something different is happening the lifeline kind of ends out here and there's a overlapping line overlapping line basically signifies more area coming under the mount of mars and more area coming under the mount of venus because a bigger semicircle means more space for these two planets together so more fire and more energy happening to this particular person so what we would say is that at some particular given moment of time huge like upliftment is going to happen in his particular life it is something like the person is living at 2000 feet now suddenly the person lives at 20000 feet so it's that uh, that much upgradation that basically happens and just for reference case sake i'm just explaining to you the reverse imagine a situation that if the new line had been underlapped by the main line this is the main line and the new line is underlapping so underlapping of the lifeline is considered to be a negative sign it means less area to the mars and less area to the venus so less area to the venus means less desires and less area to the mars basically signify less fire within that particular person but in the in his case it's the opposite now you'd notice that it is not only showing up in one hand it is showing up in both the hands just going to take a look uh, just take a look at only this particular aspect in the this particular right hand i've already explained this is the original lifeline the, this i have already explained to you uh, but let's take the other hand uh, that we are referring to this particular this is this could be his left hand in the left hand also you would find similar indication now this similar indication is that the lifeline is kind of ending and a new line is kind of overlapping so in both cases i would say that it is similar so uh, that's the reason why we would go by what the right hand is showing see right hand is generally the active hand right hand is and left hand is the passive hand and uh, also try to understand that the it doesn't mean that we ignore the left hand in some cases like in this particular person's case the left and the right are almost same so it doesn't matter if we take a look at the left hand or the right hand it doesn't matter much so both hands show the same thing regarding him uh, but we would still concentrate on the right hand now another thing another important thing in his particular case is that just take a look out here same kind of indication the lifeline ending and a new line developing this particular area that you uh, that you see out here is very well padded now well padded area of venus is considered to be good and specifically if a person is in film industry now film industry doesn't mean that every person basically becomes an actor with a prominent mount of venus now a prominent mount of venus gives the that particular person a good taste and desires and energy and stamina and vitality so a person could be a very good photographer a person could be a very good director a person could be a very good uh, anything to beautify uh, something a good designer the person could be a good sportsman so it is because sportsmen also need high amount of energy levels and stamina the physical sports that we are speaking about so so having a prominent amount of venus increases the desire but don't do not think that if you have a prominent amount of venus you would become actor you could be in any profession any possible profession it would just increase your desires and increase your desires to have all the material things in your life 
so you have to have first thing for success is having a desire without desires nothing comes by and these desires should be ever lasting kind of desires now with his particular case this kind of high energies it's not that these energies are going to go away right now his age is 56 his energy the similar kind of energies are going to remain even when he basically turns 80 years old 80 85 90 so these similar kind of energies is all all throughout one's life normally when uh, uh, normally young people uh, everybody is going to say that i have got huge amount of desire i want everything in my life but generally these things do not last but with him with him it is basically a continuous process in the earlier portion also of his life he wanted everything in right now also he wants everything and even when the person gets old he wants he wants all the material things in his life so venus is all about material things venus is all about luxuries and desires and beauty and grace so this is what basically his uh, his thing is so his lover boy image comes from the area of venus a prominent well padded mount of venus now good venus is when there are no crisscrossing lines over it. If a person does have too many crisscrossing lines over it or intermingling of these lines, then basically the area gets disturbed. So disturbances of the amount of Venus would signify that the person is wasting his fuel, wasting his fire, uh, wasting his fuel, wasting his love energies. So he himself never waste any of his energies. He makes uh, the most productive use of the energies the area for all the vices and the sexuality is also the amount of venus so the area being prominent brings special special things regarding this particular aspect that that i've just spoken about so uh, this is one way of looking at it how the and why the person is successful if you think that uh, generally people think that hand would tell everything how much successful the person is going to be. See, the thing is, it's not possible to know just by looking at this particular hand or any particular hand that the person would get uh, international fame. So international fame is something different. We cannot basically quantify fame, but we can always say with this particular kind of a hand that those people are likely to reach their potential, high potential if they, if they set high goals for themselves, they are likely to 110% reach their goals provided the hand is somewhat similar. Okay, so, uh, but we can't quantify. Now, there are other good aspects of, uh, regarding his palm as well. The thing is that the headline, this is the line of head and this is the line of life. Uh, sorry, this is the line of heart. Both are kind of, uh, of equal length. And no, uh, both of these lines are not kind of uh, swinging upward or downwards or th these are kind of kind of very normal kind of a line. See, this basically what it would basically mean is a very, very predictable kind of a personality. So generally people do not want unpredictability and he is a very, very predictable kind of a person. And even if you take a look at his acting skills, it's a very very normal kind of a thing there's nothing nothing too special about it he doesn't have that uh, that in every movie he he displays something new it's that same thing that keeps on repeating again and again and again so that lover boy image has stuck to him so he he's basically just enjoying that particular aspect and it's it's basically remained with him for throughout his life so uh, even with normal kind of lines you can still get a very very good success now, one more thing I need to add out here is that he has got a small headline. A small headline, people generally think that headline is the line for intelligence. People generally think, but headline is not the line of intelligence. Headline is the line of your thought process. So, uh, so the length of the line has got no bearing with intelligence. Even a short headline can be an excellent sign and sometimes even a long line may not be a good sign to have. So in this case, a short headline is giving him a result. The, the thing is that if the headline is very long, as you see in the hand of Arvind Kejriwal, 
uh, the Delhi chief minister, the uh, who's in politics, people who don't know him, people who are in foreign countries, they might not be knowing him. So that person has got a long headline. So a long headline means that person is creating strong mental boundaries. The headline is seen in terms of mental strength. And men, some people think that mental strength is basically, uh, they would see that mental strength is intelligence. No, mental strength is different from intelligence. They are totally different. So that person basically creates strong mental boundaries. In his case, he doesn't make strong mental boundaries around himself. So that's considered to be good. Uh, be good. We would say that energies penetrate the fingers and they kind of move in the palm and they basically creep in and they are able to move to all these planets and, and, and intermingle with each other. So that's the reason why a uh, shorter headline can also be seen as a good sign to have. You don't need to have a long line of head. Now we take a look at the heart line. The heart line is very special. It's a very, very simple kind of a heart line. Simple kind of a heart line is considered to be a beautiful uh, sign to have. This is one of the best kind of an indication that anybody can have. You don't need to have, like some people say, oh, you need to have a Vishnu sign or something like, I don't believe in those kind of things. Although uh, if, if a line is something, the heart line is moving something like this, it's considered to be a good sign. But uh, those, those words that have been created, Vishnu sign, M sign, V sign, all those things are basically wrong kind of things. Just take a look at one more thing. Uh, uh, this is, uh, I, I've created a video. People generally want to know about success, what gives a person success and failure. So success signs can be seen on your palm and uh, you have to basically look at the qualities. You just need to look that does the person have desire, money management, energy, stamina, vitality. So if those things are there in, a, in one's life, the chances for success increases. People think that if they have got something very abnormal, very different, only then they are going to be successful. It's not like that. Even a simple heart line can also talk about huge success. A simple heart line basically signifies detachment. Now you would, as I say detachment, the person, the person who is, who's hearing it, they would say, no, the person wants money. The person doesn't practice detachment. See, you don't know the meaning of detachment. The real meaning of detachment is what is said in Bhagavad Gita. It means being in the moment without having expectation of the outcome. This is what detachment basically means. So he practices detachment. If he had few branches hanging downwards from the heart line, something like this, it would mean attachments. Heart line but uh, branches hanging downward means attachments. Attachments bring expectation. Expectations are not fulfilled. That's a reason why disappointment creeps in and that's a reason why your performance goes down. So I, I'm just repeating it once more. Attachment bring in expectations. Expectations in general are not fulfilled. That's a reason why disappointment creeps into your life. And once it, they creep in, anger, aggression comes and your performance basically goes down. But in, but in his particular case, there are no branches, there's nothing there. It's just a simple, plain, simple line of art. This is the best kind of an indication that the person can have. Now, the thing is, he might have had huge challenges in his life. I would say huge challenges he, he has faced, but he might not have faced the challenge that he experienced at the age of 50, uh, 55 just uh, just a year back when his uh, son got uh, like uh, uh, like uh, he was caught with i i don't know what happened Diane, like police and uh, narcotic bureaus and all basically came into play we are not going by what uh, might have happened but we are just going by plain simple that in such a situation how he did handle such a situation? How did Shah Rukh Khan, we are not talking about the kid. We are just talking about him as a person, how Shah Rukh Khan handled that particular situation. The thing is that uh, it was test of nerves, testing of nerves. And such a person who has a simple kind of a heart line means that these people never ever never ever get stressed 
no anxiety, no stress, nothing. So that's the reason why these people are able to perform even when stressful situations come into their life. So that's the reason with people who have got simple lines, even if you take a look at the hand of Sachin Tendulkar, even he has a absolutely, absolutely similar kind of a line. There's no difference between uh, the, uh, the line in the hand of Shah Rukh Khan and in the line of uh, the hand of uh, Sachin Tendulkar, the famous cricket player. So both are same. Okay, let's give a take example of Sachin Tendulkar. Now the Sachin Tendulkar, imagine he gets out at zero and he gets out at zero again and then again zero and again zero. So the whole of India is looking up to Sachin Tendulkar and he's saying what's wrong is, is happening with Sachin Tendulkar and he's getting out. Now Sachin Tendulkar realizes that he, he has got out at zero maybe four times or five times or whatever. So in a normal person's case, huge amount of stress is going to develop. Human have a huge amount of expectation is going to develop. But it is how much the stress you are taking on, on yourself. If a person is not taking that kind of a stress, then basically it means that the person is not going to be unsuccessful because the person is able to focus their energies. So a simple heart line means that those people are able to focus their energies towards their goal. And because it's a simple line, one line, without branches, without a hazy kind of a line, it means that they are able to offer their life to one single goal, one single cause, one single relationship. So that's the best possible indication that a person can have is a simple kind of a heart line. These kind of people do not carry the extra baggage of the past, extra baggage of the past disappointment. So that's the reason why they, they are basically more successful. So even if you imagine a situation, let's take, uh, if you are seeing this video and probably your uh, heartline is not so good, it's kind of something like island-like formations are there and hazy kind of line. L just imagine a situation, if, you, if a person does have such a such kind of, a, it, it's a bad in indication. Even if you have such an indication, it doesn't mean that 100% you're going to be unsuccessful. If you kind of practice eating at the right time, sleeping at the right time and doing the right thing, probably that stress and anxiety that is building inside you might go down. So, uh, so you can correct these things by doing the right thing in your life. Now, one more thing, we have to look at the hard line. Uh, people generally think that money line would tell about the money. I would say that even your heart line can talk about the money. Heart line ending under the Mount of Saturn. Now Saturn is for money, possessions, wealth, wisdom, responsibility, being grounded, knowing the ground situations very well and the opposite as well. Whatever, like I might have said money management. So the opposite of money management is bad money management and wasting your money. Wisdom, unwise decision, the opposite. So the hard line that ends under the Mount of Saturn signify that these people are highly responsible. These people are highly grounded. They love money. They pray for money. These people are materialistic kind of people. These people always have money in their mind and they respect money. So, you, so if you want money, you have to respect money. So there's nothing wrong with being materialistic. Don't think that when we say materialistic, it is something wrong. For the services, if you are giving and if there's a price for it, the other people should be willing to pay the price. So that's the reason why the heart line that ends under the Mount of Saturn is considered to be a beautiful sign as far as money goes. Because these people respect money, they value money. So people who value money are the ones who are able to make more money in their life. Some people, they may have a longer kind of a heart line. A long heart line reaching the Mount of Jupiter would mean that those people are idealistic and sensitive. So he's not an idealistic and a sensitive person. He's basically a realistic kind of a person. So a realistic kind of uh, realism comes from Saturn. Idealism and sensitivity comes from the area of Jupiter. This is the area of Jupiter and this is the area of Saturn. So the heart line that ends under the Mount of Saturn signify that the heart is targeting towards Saturn. 
heart targeting towards saturn means heart is targeting towards money possessions wealth so people who value money are the ones who basically make more money in their life now we cannot we cannot we cannot quantify the money if you think that we can quantify the money you are highly mistaken some people would say oh this person has got a m sign something like this now think about it just use your use little common sense did britishers invent palmistry that we are looking for english letter words on your palm some people say w sign some people say pot sign some people say swastik sign see swastik and all swastik kamal you don't find it on your palm and these are very very auspicious signs of hindus so it is a it is a good sign but you don't need to have these kind of signs in your palm in order to be successful as you see in this particular person's case he doesn't have any such thing and in spite of having no sign at all he is super successful he doesn't even have a money line so what 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 else you can talk about even in spite of having no money line the person can still be successful now to i have already indicated how and why uh, success can be seen in his, in his hand prominent mount of venus good mars less lines over the mount of mars less lines over all over all over the palm overlapping lifeline i have already explained simple uh, heart line simple headline so these all these indications are, are considered to be beautiful signs to have uh, now he is also known to be a very good communicator and uh, for communication the area of mercury uh, is required we can't basically actually see how good the mercury is because the image quality is not so good but still if we go by the length of the mercury finger now the length of the mercury finger appears to be crossing the top line of the ring finger so the length of the mercury finger is long and having a long mercury finger is always considered to be a good sign mercury basically signifies communication and calculation so a long mercury finger basically would signify a long communication tower so a long communication tower means that these people uh, are able to communicate effectively with people far away and people close by both of these people in an effective way with his own family he can communicate in an effective way and people who are unknown also he can communicate with thousands of people in an effective way generally if you take a look at the hand of uh, the economist our past pm manmohan singh even he has a long mercury finger so it doesn't mean mean that the actors are basically full and the economists are basically intelligent even a uh, actor can be an very very intelligent basically person so it's a combination of many many things in the palm that provide one success not one thing but a multiple things that provide success uh things are not so i can't really comment regarding the regarding the money line maybe it doesn't even appear before the age of 35 i'm just going to draw a money line which i don't see very clearly this is the headline and this is the heart line so the intersection of the head and the money line is age 35 the head and the money line is age 35 this intersection is 35 the heart line and the money line is age 53 so you would notice that there doesn't appear to be any any such uh, major line before the age of 35 from the age of 35 to 53 we we kind of see another line and another line basically develops after the age of 53 but nothing significant is there uh, so money line does play a part but it is not so important as just people think that it is uh, you don't even find that there is a clear cut sunline also so even in spite of having no sunline a person can be world famous so don't do not think that you need to have lines in order to be successful without any lines also that people can be hugely successful now the structure of the hand plays a part in our life a structure mean the bone structure this is the bone structure in the fingers and the palm and the skin covering over it so what basically it means is when you are making a building to make a strong building you lay a strong foundation you dig the earth and you basically put 
extra strong beams and extra strong like cement and uh, huge cementing is done in the basement and uh, base and the pillars and the beams uh, that would mean that the building is going to survive the earthquakes flooding or any storm or any 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 such thing so people who have a strong structured hand strong structured hand means when you hold those people people's hand it appears to be strong it doesn't mean that the other person needs to crush our hand only then it's going to be strong without even getting your hand crushed you can basically come to know if a if a person does have a strong hand or not so a strong structured hand basically signifies that these people do have a better hold over people money and resources so people who have got strong hand means that they are able to withstand difficult situations and come out as winners so even if you don't have any significant lines and a structure of your hand is good the possibility is unlimited thanks for watching this video bye and take care hope you like this particular video if you like this video click on the like button and do subscribe to my channel you can come to know about money from any aspect of your palm it, it can be your heart and head life sun mercury venus mars any line or anything on your palm everything basically can indicate to your success money line just has 15 percent importance in your hand nothing more than that a saint once said you don't need to go to an astrologer or a palmist to know about your future because you already know your future present is a result of past how will be my future future depends upon what you are doing in the present what are we we are product of our thoughts so the thoughts that come to our mind are really important keep positive thoughts and keep good company that's what matters the most if you want a paid palm reading from me contact me press the bell icon on youtube don't miss another update that's my email that's my phone number thanks for watching do subscribe to my channel bye and take care